When I'm running, I'm peaceful. I hear the silence and it makes me relax. I love to go and connect with the elements, feel tiny and powerful at the same time. And it makes me think about the best way to live without harming nature. As a child, I've always been very curious. I was fascinated by nature. I remember watching butterflies and wondering how can they fly. We've come to rely on aviation as a safe mean of movement. This is the way we work and travel the world. At the same time, I'm conscious about climate change and our impact. If we want to limit global warming, energy transition is vital to create a sustainable future for our children. As a scientist, I feel that responsibility to face that challenge head on. At Scienceco, we developed new materials for the first moon landing in the 1960s. That legacy continues today in all our labs around the world. We have a century of collaboration with explorers. It started back in 1927 with Auguste Picard and his first stratospheric flight in a hydrogen balloon. And then we worked with his grandson, Bertrand Picard, on Solar Impulse, which was the first solar-powered flight around the world. Behind every success in aviation, there has been scientists working behind the scene, solving complex problems. Today, we continue to make history. We are still inventing new technologies for the future of aviation. With the first non-stop round-the-world flight in a hydrogen aircraft. Climate Impulse is a project very ambitious that aims to show the feasibility of flying with hydrogen, and we are fixing our objective of flying around the world without escalade until 2028. Ça va? Ça passe bien? Oui, très bien. L'avion Climate Impulse va ressembler à un énorme planeur avec des très bonnes caractéristiques de performance de vol pour pouvoir effectuer le tour du monde avec une consommation minimale d'énergie. Scienceco est notre plus gros partenaire technologique pour la conception et la fourniture de matériaux innovants. C'est un partenariat très important. Nous allons ensemble concevoir les matériaux dont nous aurons besoin pour mener à bien cette mission. My role in this project is to identify materials and technologies to solve two challenges, lightweighting and energy efficiency. With my team, we develop highly conductive electrodes and membranes for the fuel cell to improve its energy efficiency. Hydrogen is stored in a cryogenic tank and injected in a fuel cell. A fuel cell is consuming oxygen and hydrogen to produce electricity with a redox chemical reaction. Hello. Then, this electricity is used to power an electric motor that will turn the propellers. L'hydrogen peut avoir un potentiel très important pour l'aviation, mais impose de relever de nombreux défis. Aujourd'hui, l'hydrogène n'existe pas forcément sous sa forme naturelle, il faut donc le fabriquer, et le fabriquer nécessite de l'énergie. Pour que l'hydrogène vert devienne un vecteur d'énergie durable, il faut le fabriquer grâce aux énergies renouvelables. C'est ce que nous essayons de faire au sein de Climate Impulse. Avec ce projet, ce qu'on souhaite démontrer, c'est qu'on peut commencer à envisager sur le long terme une décarbonation de l'aviation. Collaboration is the heart of success. To create truly new ideas, we need a meeting of diverse minds and backgrounds. Ça c'est nouveau Toute cette pièce là effectivement est nouvelle, on l'a on l'a fabriquée et installée la semaine dernière. It's amazing to work with Cyril and all the other partners. Together, we can change an idea into a reality. Je 
j'espère qu'on arrivera quand même à finir dans les temps. Ouais. Ce serait un bel exemple de l'utilisation de l'hydrogène dans l'aviation. I want my children to be able to discover the beauty of our planet while preserving it. This is why we need to find alternative solutions together. <laughs>